Yep. Good morning, guys. Day number five here on West Grand Lake in West Grand Lake Stream, Maine. It is a brisk five degrees this morning. It dropped pretty cold last night. The wind completely switched around and died. Had a good night's sleep. Got some coffee. Starting to drive some coffee into me. Fished two cusk lines all night. Never got a flag. Had one with live bait, one with dead bait, but I was surprised. They might be up a little shallower with that full moon starting to spawn. You know, they like to move up into... 30, 20, even 10 foot of water on nice sandy banks during spawning season. I'm out here in about 55. What my plan is for today, my plan is to catch a big lake trout. So I'm going to set four lines out here on this big sand flat. There's a big sand flat out here in about 55 foot of water, void of any boulders that you know, if I go another 100 yards that way, there's huge, huge boulders that'll, that the fish have been going into and getting hung up. And it's kind of hard for them to find the bait compared to being on a sandy flat where they could see the bait from a mile away. This water's crystal clear. You could drop the camera down at 55 feet and see eight or 10 feet pretty easy. So today the plan is to try and go for a big lake trout. We're not going for numbers anymore. We've hit some pretty good numbers this week in the first uh, three and a half days there. In the first four days there, we've, well, let me see, how many days am I here? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Thursday, Saturday. Yeah. Thursday. In the first three and a half days, we're right at 90 fish. So I don't really need the numbers today, but I wouldn't mind catching something big. I'm gonna jig out of the shack. I think I have the shack set up in a good spot on the edge of the boulder field out in the big sand flat. So I saw a pile of smelt last night when I turned the pan optics on. So hopefully that'll draw some big Lakers in and we'll try to jig a good one there. And, we, and if we can't get one there, we'll jump around, do a little hole hopping, but it'll be mostly with the electronics today and a couple of dead bait on bottom jack traps. Come along, see the show. Doesn't feel very big, but I got some good head shakes. This is a big sucker for bait. Big head shake. Not much for weight yet. So right. big old knot headed toad. What's he doing eating that giant sucker? What are you doing? All right, first toga of the morning right there. Not a very big one, but we'll take it. There he is, little guy. Oh, just got bigger. Probably another cookie cutter. Feels decent though. Might be wrapped up. Ah, he's just close. Another little guy. Got him. Got him way up. Feels pretty decent. I don't know if it's a white fish or a toque. Look like a toque. Yep, lake trout. Wow, thanks. Got him. 
definitely, definitely utilize the electronics on that one. Had the Garmin pan optics going and got them up off the bottom. I ended up hooking them up around 20 foot off the bottom. So I'm in 55, so about 35 down. Pretty good laker right there, guys. Fun to catch him inside the hut. The wind really started ripping out there, so I came back inside. Let's get him back down. Nice. That's the Rapala Rip and Wrap 06. And you can hear it. It's got a lot of beads in there and makes a lot of noise and it vibrates when you give it a yank. So I switched over to that, try to get something's attention out on this flat and that joker came right in. Let's do this, come on. Come on, sucker. Let's dance. get one here. We got two coming. Got him. <laughs> nice. Way up in the water column. Love it. A lot of times you just lift on these togs, they'll come up. We're to our leader. Oh, decent. Oh yeah, it's a nice one. Oh no, right there in the hole. Got him. <laughs> oh, had to go down the hole for him, but I got him. Nice one. Look at that toad. Over three pounds. He was aggressive. We're gonna get him right back down there. He was stuck in the hole trying to turn around when he popped off. Grabbed him. Yes. Woo! Come on, baby. Drag. Woo! Oh, stay on. Big one. I think we got a big one here, folks. Decent one, anyway. 
come out of nowhere and flatten that thing. I saw them on the screen a couple different times. Come on, baby. Keep coming up. It's not doing much right now. Maybe he's foul hooked. I don't know. No, it's a, oh, he's foul hooked. Oh, shoot. He's foul hooked, and it's a good one, too. Wrapped him right up. Yes, sir. <laughs> Look at that. Wrapped him right up in it. He was flying through there. I, I knew something wasn't right. Otherwise, it would have been a 20 pounder, but that's, that's a good one there. He's probably in the five pound range. Big dark fish, all sorts of power. Easy, easy, let me turn you over. Yeah, come on, baby. Come on, stop it. All right, yeah. All right, shake it out, shake it out. Burp him. All right, guys, there she is. Hardly even hold on to the thing. God. Son of a you know, There we go. All right. Big dark one there. Nice one there, guys. Good one there. Let's get him back. Oh, here he comes. How did he miss that? Golly. That's a good one there. Oh, another one. Little guy. Got him. Nice. Got him on the lift. Easy. Easy. It's just a little hook. Come on, baby. on the trout and pout. 
Might be a diesel. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. All right. <laughs> Another good one. All right. Another good one, folks. Lake Trout, get him back down. There's another one just like him down there. Oh, that's a good one. Got him. Yes. Nice hit. <laughs> that was awesome. Not an easy one to catch, but got him to go. He went and ate a bunch of smelt right before he ate this. Doesn't feel very big, but that doesn't matter. Oh yeah, not bad. There he is, another Laker, decent one. All right. They are getting fun to catch. White out. We got a white out and we got a flag. Mile away, but he's there. There's the bottom. Feels decent. Big head shakes. Not big for weight yet, but big head shakes. Another 60 foot, we got him. That is a pretty lake trout right there, folks. Let's see, he's holding it. That's right there. They're so healthy and fat in this lake. Look at that thing. Big fat bellies on them. Blizzard fish! White out. Not bad. Yeah. Yeah, you just missed one. Did you just get one? Yeah. Yeah, nice. Yeah, you just missed it. I just threw him back. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. You guys out for a ride or are you yeah, fishing? We, yeah, we, we just got the Grand Lake Stream. We're heading to it so it narrows. Uh, we just keep it on these tracks, huh? Grand Lake Stream's that way. No, I Grand Lake <laughs> I'm just, I'm just kidding. Don't say that. Hey, no. Man. Hey. No, I, I just came out of the shack. And this all started, I'm looking around, I'm like, geez, I'm glad I don't have to go anywhere. <laughs> it's white out. Yeah. We were fishing once on Eagle, and we were heading over to Square. Yeah. You guys been up that way? Oh, yeah. Well, the guy leading the charge, it was way worse than this yeah. white out. He gave us two circles around Eagle before I told him we weren't on Square yet. <laughs> 
Yeah. It was funny when the snow stopped, though. We were about back to camp. Okay. Hey, thanks a lot. Good luck. I've been there, my friend. Have fun. See ya. Coming in hot. Come on, baby. Come for me. Not those smelt, not those smelt. Come for me. Come for me. He's coming for me. Come for me. He's coming for me. Eat it, you son of a gun. Oh, you got those smelt. All right, that's going to do it for day five. Awesome day. Pretty much accomplished everything I wanted to by jigging lake trout, catching some lake trout. Didn't catch any monsters. Hey, that happens. That's. That's part of fishing. I got one pretty good one through the jig hole, but most of the damage was done right in here with the pan optics. And it was really fun to watch these fish and how they reacted. There were maybe one out of the whole group that were easy to catch that you didn't have to work for quite a while and bring up from the bottom up into a higher zone, higher zone, higher zone, and, and keep moving away from them and, and get them to trigger the, the bite, which was a lot of fun. That's half the fun of jigging. and half the fun of using these electronics. I thought I'd do a little bit better on the traps, but they didn't do too well. I was using great big suckers, caught maybe two or three, had maybe six flags all day. But hey, that's how it goes. And honestly, after like two or three flags, I was thinking about pulling the traps so I could just focus on jigging. I bounced around a little bit, got into a little bit of fish, but I never really caught anything other than right through this hole right here. Now this spot I'm fishing is a great big sand flat in and amongst a ton of big boulder fields. So I found this with the pan optics by scanning around. Saw, okay, there's a nice flat bottom. There were a bunch of smelt over it. The smelt kind of cycled through all day at different levels in the water column. And then every time they did, there was always lake trout with them. Maybe even a couple salmon that I wasn't able to catch. Lures for today. This one is a trout and pout. That's a little 5-8 spoon. It's a lot of weight in a little package. You got a nice little treble hook on it. Glows in the dark. This, this one here, a lot of times I'll tip it with like half a smelt or a smelt tail or even a, a full dead smelt uh, and that's what I was using when I felt like I needed to finesse those fish a little bit more. I like the weight of this thing because it gets down in a hurry but it's not too big either it gives you a little bit more of a finesse approach. This one is a 36 inch medium heavy with a loose 2000 spinning reel on it and I use pretty much 10 pound fluoro. I'll go up as high as 17 fluoro and I back it all with pretty light braid. Next one up that did probably most of the damage today is the Rapala Rip and Wrap. That's the 06. It's like a green perch color. I don't even think there's perch in here, but to the fish, they're mostly seeing the bottom side of it. And they're seeing like a pearl or a white with um, with a white belly and a little bit with the shiny hooks. The reason I went to this bait is all the rattles in it. It's got a ton of rattles. And when you're fishing a great big flat like this, and I wasn't getting activity, I sent that thing down and rip it, you get the vibration, but shake it, you get the rattles too. So I felt like that could call some fish in within that 20, 25 foot circle on each side of the pan optics that I was looking at all day. And then the last bait is the big boy here. This is an ounce and a quarter airplane jig. It's got wings on it right there that help kind of glide it and change directions. That one's chartreuse and white. And usually on the, on the trailer hook, it has like a big treble hook. I'll throw like a chunk of sucker on there or a sucker tail just to have a little bit of meat down there if they're really looking at the bait like they were today. Most of the day I was in about 55 foot of water. I traveled out a little bit deeper into like 75 and maybe I saw as shallow as 45. All in all, awesome day. Got to catch a ton of lake trout. Didn't get that giant, but that's fishing. Still had a great day. Anytime you get to jig them up on electronics, or jig them at all, it's just an awesome day. And then to put up some fairly good numbers like I did today, that made it even more fun. I'm gonna cook up some good dinner tonight. I got some deer steak, maybe some deer burger, onions, peppers, mushrooms, basically just gonna throw it all in the fry pan, let it go and, and fill up my belly and have a good night's sleep tonight because a couple of the boys are coming back out tomorrow. We haven't settled on a game plan yet, but I think we're actually gonna go after some more sl salmon 
some landlocked salmon and try to put up a good number of salmon tomorrow maybe even get into a big salmon too those are a lot of fun to catch because they go wild when you catch them they t they peel off you know like a hundred yards of line in a matter of seconds it's pretty amazing and, and what we might also do if we do that is also set up a jig hole to jig for them if the weather doesn't turn out a little bit better right now we had like white out conditions it was snow but it's starting to get a little soft and might have like a rainy mix i hope we don't get too much rain there's a i think a leak or two in this ceiling here that just need to be plugged but the rain creates slush now luckily for us there isn't a ton of snow out there but slush is never fun so hopefully we don't get too much rain tonight but it's going to be a good day tomorrow with the, seeing the boys again and really want to thank you guys for tuning in really want to thank you for commenting on the video those always help spread the video out and gets into youtube's algorithm and anytime you hit that thumbs up button if you like the video and you hit the thumbs up button that helps other people get to see it too thanks for tuning in guys tune back in for day six i think we're going salmon fishing but that could change in a heartbeat we might be out chasing big toge tomorrow see you then